error. This means the internal error happened in the B1I, uh, in the B1I C uh, processing um, there. So the first one, I just have a look at the, just check, double check the SL SSL um, setting. Um, they match each other um, there. If if the B1IC backend enable the um, secure transport, you should um, switch on the SSL SSL um, um, connection there. And then second one, the second one uh, we have checked um, the landscape setting up um, is not uh, correctly. Uh, just be sure um, you need to go to the landscape to test the connection B1D and JDBC uh, for your company. And also the um, just now as we we have talked the server IP address and associate your company um, they should be using the uh, the wrong the right format there. Uh, so for those k for those people who are you working with the again who are working with the uh, in database instance name you must uh, put the ins instance name um, with the server there as well just as I show you um, there uh, like just something like the uh, my server my DB server my DB server and then my instance name and then my company my company DB that's the right way if you have the instance um if you have the instance um multiple instance there um uh, there and then otherwise you would have the uh, arrow in the in the um, authentication checking if you don't put the instance name there you would have the fail to connect to the database because you giving the wrong if you give it the wrong database server there the right database server uh for in this case should be this one in uh, the database with instance if you have multiple instance with your database server there. Okay. And also for the um, um, license checking, you um, you can go to the license checking um, uh, one by one as well, the license administration. Uh, you need to be sure. Um, for the manager, you need to have the professional and or either start a package or limit the user. And then last but not least, you need to have the B1I user for this mobile user as well. So. Uh, you can have a look at the uh, right now for professional user in the, uh, limited user, and they are allowed to assess the um, mobility. And also, don't forget to um, allocate the B1I user for this kind of a name user as well. And also to, for the uh, for the order of the username or, or password, of course, they are case sensitive. Uh, just have a look at um, this note um, there. And one um, another. Very very common um, error it is that let's say like the you setting the right um, B1 I server the poor and then database um, um, SLD configuration but you still uh, get an error maybe the error is time out uh, time out or something like that or well, in most of the case uh, might be the reason might be the mobile um, scenario is not activate um, correctly in this case. Uh, if you get the session timeout and then you check everything um, for the network or for the setting, and after that, um, how can you um, um, troubleshooting to have a try? Just to reactivate the the mobile package. How can we reactivate the mobile package? Just go to the integration framework and click scenarios, and then go to the control, and then now uh, just uncheck the mobile package, and then it will deactivate the package for me. And then I check uh, once again, and then reactivate it. I reactivate it, and then uh, the mobile package uh, will re will be reactivated, and then it was all it was listening to the incoming mobile request there, um, there, and then maybe you can try to restart after you reactivate. Just restart the uh, integration um, server there. They'll be uh, much better. Just be sure and. And the mobile package has been um, has been activated and correctly. Okay, it's activated and once again, and then in maybe in another case, just restart it, the integration service to make sure everything um, start from scratch, and then to activate and successfully. So that's the for the uh, normal uh, for the normal um, error for the timeout um, connection as well. Okay, that's the for the connection uh, processing failing um, here. Um, okay, so, so most of the process failing is have something to do um, um, the connection uh, to the 
to the to the uh, network has been success and uh, there and also the IP address um, so again um, the server's name um, let's have a look at the server's name here um, if we're going back to the SOD landscape here uh, what what I would like to talk about, I would like to talk more about about the um, the setting for the WS for the mobile here. So it doesn't matter. Let's say you are using the server IP or the host name, but this one must be the database um, database server IP or database um, server name there. Uh, again, if you are having the uh, multiple DB instance, you must put the DB server and instance name and the company name in this kind of format. And otherwise, you would be unable to um, authenticate. You would fail to connect, to log in to your target uh, mobile DB, and then to try check the license um, against your uh, company database uh, with the given mobile username and password there. Okay, and then <coughs> uh, for the other one, for the other general um, error there I'm not going to go through uh, one by one I, I I would I would I would urge you to have a look at this um, um, have this um, note for the troubleshooting and one by one and uh, maybe the next one would be the uh, uh, launch the um, when the user launched the b1 app and uh, for the, the demo login alert and uh, this one just uh, make sure you switch off uh, the a demo ID, uh, the demo system, and then and you will be able to using your own um, system. And for this one, um, something wrong with the, um, your uh, mobile package, just re-import. Just maybe reinstall um, your uh, reinstall your, your B1IC and that will be um, easier for you. For the crystal report, uh, I think this um, problem has been resolved since the patch poor. So if, if you get the uh, latest version, you shouldn't have the problem there. Okay, and that's it about the uh, uh, mobile troubleshooting. Um, in today's session, we learned about the very three common um, um, issues about the mobile troubleshooting. The first one, um, it is the connection fail. It has something to do uh, with the general network um, connection and setting in the B1i, um, B1i uh, backend server and the uh, I, an iPhone application there. So. And also, the secondly, we also learned about to how can diagnosis, how can troubleshooting for the permission denied, and we have learned um, we can get the exact information by debugging, um, by debugging the authentication monitor. Go to the uh, authentication monitor to find the right um, information, to find the right information um, for the debugging there. Okay, and then also we have learned about another one is about the um, processing um, processing error um, processing error um, there. Just be sure the setting um, is the right one there. Okay, and that's it, and about the uh, um, trouble uh, mobile uh, troubleshooting for the SBNS one mobile um, solution there. Help you you can um, you learn something and then. And thank you for your time, and that's it for today's session.